From the streets of Brooklyn to the Navy, became a restauranteur, became a full time dad. Nobody told me business would be this tough. Right now, a lot of money's been missing. The cash register has been short, money's missing, and I have products missing. It's kind of hard to deal with these things on a day to day level. We've been suspecting for a little while that someone is uh, stealing money. Um, I, th I think that it's probably comps. Um, bartenders have a, a nice way of, um, or anyone that has access to our drawer has uh, a really sneaky ways of stealing. Like they'll take paper clips or pieces of paper or rubber bands or whatever and uh, they'll hold them to the side as they make comps and then at the end of the night they'll find a quiet place and they'll skim money off the top. Well, you know, first we start seeing cash out, you know, cash deposits drop. We see 20 minutes in here, 10 minutes in here, a lot of comp tickets. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. So the first thing I could do is think about how can I catch a thief? You know, I got my eye on one person and I really got a good feeling that that, that person's still in front of me. Uh, I, I think that it's Sal. Um, yeah, you know, I always thought it was him too. So, you know, let's check these cameras out and uh, let's get a proof on it. Oh, I do a little bit of everything in it. I think I do too much if you ask me. Um, I fix things, I move stuff around, I'm always running around, I'm getting burgers, sodas, beers, I'm doing a little bit of everything. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Jeff, come look. You're not going to be happy with this one. Ah, oh, come on. No. Damn. All right. Yeah. Same situation. I know you don't want to hear this or see this, but... Yeah. You still gotta go. Let me go talk to him. You know, I, I told Shannon to go ahead and find and, and get the dirt, get the evidence of this person stealing from me. Now she can bring that to footage, and it's my hardest worker. Wow. Like, who would imagine a person who I, who I helped get this life together, who has, you know, has a family now, has a car, apartment, all because of me, and now I have to let them go. It's still in the zero tolerance. Chef Jeff, man, that's my guy, man. He's always looked out for me. I didn't have nothing when I even came here, man. And now I got everything I want, you know what I'm saying? And we have a great relationship. I've been here since day one. I, I'm his best employee, you know what I'm saying? What's going on, Ricky? Hey, bro, how you been? How's everything going, bro? Uh, not too good, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's going on? You all right? How's the fam? Yeah, fam, fam ain't doing too good. You know my pockets hurt, man. Oh, uh, mine's hurting too. Yeah, you been the cause of that. You know what I'm saying? What? How? Look, man. Come on. I, I, look, I don't got you. You're stealing from me. Taking my out of register. Stealing from you? I ain't never took a dime from Take you. Taking food out of the back door? Look, man. I, hey, um, here, can you take over his tables, please? What you mean, take over my tables? You know nobody can't cover this like I cover this, bro. Come on, don't. Hey, stop look, playing with me. Hey, look, stop playing this up, man. Stop playing with me. Come on, man. Employees is the biggest thing I trust. I have to trust them. Can they have my name? <laughs> they, they represent me when I'm not around. I'm not around as much as I, as I could be. I'm trying to make the, the, rest, the restaurant flourish like a cheeseburger selling in Japan and in New York at the same time. You gotta be on point. Man, it, it felt like, honestly, when Chef when Chef Jeff, when he fired me, it just felt like it was my big brother fault firing me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really messed up. And I know he didn't want to do it, man. I know he got a good heart. You know what I'm saying? He put me in a great position. And I know he probably didn't want to do that to me, man, but I messed up. You know, that's my guy. But, you know, it's not a proud thing. It's not a proud situation. Man, you gonna replace me with her? I work 10 times faster than her. I really hate the fact of being the person that holds the hammer down. You know, you made a bad choice and I have to, I have to make a decision on your life. You have seven kids, you know, a new apartment, new place. And I'm the person who has to shut that down. 
hurt my heart. It's a sad day. And, uh, you know, I stole from the company, you know. I took money from the cash register. You know, I had to dig in their pockets because they wasn't feeding my pocket. You know, I just had to do my thing for my family. I got kids. I, kids got to eat, you know what I'm saying? I got to eat, you know? Family got to eat. And I just had to just do what I had to do. And through this organized chaos, had to struggle through the worst.